does that put you in the right frame of mind, or do you, what do you think we're in that frame of mind going into the game? Uh, oh, I always going to have that frame of mind going into the game that I'm going to shoot my shot if I have it open. And if it falls, it falls. If it doesn't, just get back on defense. But today it was falling, and every time I got it, my coach, coach turned kept telling me to shoot it, so I did. Jalen, you got to talk about that block. What did you see, and how did that come off for you? Uh, at first, I didn't see him. Um, one of my teammates told me he was behind me, and then I saw the pass go, and then I just jumped up, and I don't know how I got it, but I did. Jalen, Bruno said you play like that every day in practice, but it seemed like you had you know, a fire lit under you tonight. You came out a little bit more aggressive than even you usually do. Was there any extra motivation going into today's game because it was senior night, or what was you know behind your performance tonight? Um, I was already fired up. Um, it was senior night, and it was the last game of the regular season, but I think it was Evan's proposal that, that kind of like fired me up because I was already hyped from it. So I was like, I might as well just carry his energy over. Two straight games with fewer turnovers for Maryland. What kind of factors is that? Is it just better decision making in the paint, or what is it? I uh, practiced um, recently on um, like one of the offensive principles was limit yourself to one turnover. And every practice, we would, like count how many turnovers each person had, and if you had we, one was our limit. And if you go over one, nothing really happened. But I'm like, it was just make sure that you caught them. As, as this season has kind of unfolded, how? Difficult has it been to maintain consistency throughout? Is that something you think you've gotten better at? Will continue to get better? Oh uh, yeah, the season's been up and down for me. Um, I have uh, had a lot of good games, had a lot of bad games, but it's all part of the process. And all of my teammates just telling me to keep my head up, and because I'm one of the, they say I'm one of the most important pieces to the team. So that just helps me out a lot more going into the next game. It seems like you were more aggressive going to the basket, finishing, trying to finish around the rim, drawing fouls. It, did you have a mindset of just making sure you had good control of the ball? You know, you weren't going to get blocked or lose it? Uh, pretty much just confidence, going up strong and making sure that I finished the, every layup that I tried to. I think, like, my first shot of the game was a layup, and I missed that. And then Ant told me, he was like, just finish the rest of it, and you'll be good. And last 10 minutes, take the last 10 months of the Michigan game through most of today. What's gotten into you and what's changed? Because you had a run in that Michigan game. You had three possessions that were out of this world and seemed like it carried over to tonight. Do you feel the difference? Uh, yeah, I do. Um, I think it all stemmed from um, I saw like a comment on Twitter and everybody was saying like it all started in warm-ups with me and then my teammates told me that was actually one of the reasons why because I usually go sluggish in warm-ups and in warm-ups recently I've just been going hard and going full speed and that's just been helping me carry over to the game. Was that the Dockage comment? Uh, I'm not sure who tweeted, but uh, I just saw it. Okay, thanks, Jalen. Thank you. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301 251 2900 or on the web at www.vinerfourgates.com.